Yo, what is my one and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool smooth zoom out effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now normally you have like a zoom in effect where it would kind of go, you know, in the opposite direction where it would kind of zoom into his helmet right there, but this is the complete opposite. Uh, instead of zooming in, it zooms out. It's a pretty cool um, uh, effect. Sometimes it may not be a good clip to kind of zoom in, so you can go the opposite way and um, zoom out. Definitely a really cool effect, and hopefully you like it. It's a very quick and very easy effect. Um, nothing too complicated, other than just you know masking out a clip, which I think if, if I think at this point most people probably know how to mask out a clip. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, create a freeze frame. Go ahead, click on the second clip right here. Um, um, click option F to create a freeze frame. I'll just rename this one um, freeze uh, frame right here. Um, then I'll go ahead and set it to control D 10. I'm going to set it to 10 frames um, right there. That's just kind of what I like. You could maybe um, if, you, if you're doing a zoom in, you probably want to hold it for longer, but I find that zoom outs look a lot better when they're faster, but that's a, a personal preference. So this holds for um, 10 frames. So you can see right here, we'll go ahead and play it right here. And then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then you play, go into the second clip right there. So this is just a normal generic um, freeze frame right there. So I want to do I'm going to use a mask right here, and this is basically where it depends on every clip. You want to find some sort of thing to cut out. If there's nothing to cut out, there's no little face. I mean, I could even cut out right here. I could cut out around, around his neck right here. That could definitely be a pretty cool effect. You want to find some sort of spot to cut out. I could cut out right here. I could cut out his mask. I could cut out right here. There's a whole bunch of different places I could. Um, so that just depends on your clip. I'm going to go ahead and just make a rough selection. Um, right there just to get um, the point of the effect just gonna show you how it's done obviously you want to put a lot more time and effort into the effect okay so now once you have selected the place all you want to do is click on invert mask right there so as you can see right here there we go it's playing right now you could also have this as like a freeze frame and play this right here you can have like the video playing inside his helmet right here it's a pretty cool um, effect and then you could adjust the feathering right here you want it to be feathered out or feathered in I think like a uh, feather to seven definitely looks pretty good one thing that I found that looks pretty good is to actually keyframe the opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and place the keyframe right here on 100% right there. And then I'm going to go to the end and then I'm going to change the opacity down to 0. Or you could change it down to like 10 or 15. As you can see right here, I'll go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, the opacity basically keyframes. So it's not like a hard cut. First you have the video here and then it immediately cuts right there. So it's a difference. So you have a cut right here. Like the video is going to be, uh, the, the video is going to be right here. And then going to cut right there which can be a little bit of a harsh cut so i i thought kind of feather uh key filming the fill opacity definitely looks good that's a personal preference and you can you know make the decision whether or not you also want to do that so next thing to do is you want to go to crop right here we're going to go to ken's burn right here so you can see right here it's the opposite we want it to start on the helmet right here on this opening right here but this this starts on the outside so i, I didn't even know this at first but after doing some messing around i figured it out all you want to do is you want to head over here to this icon right here. Click on this, so watch where the end is and watch where the start is. If I click on this icon right here, as you can see, it flips around. Now this, now I can mess with this start right here. So it's a really cool little trick that I didn't know about. You can actually just flip it around, and then there you go. Now you have the Ken's burn effect. Now let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, there we go. Now it zooms out right here. You can of course mess with the Ken's burn effect and, and where you want to start. You can make it smaller or bigger. That's all up to you. Depends on your clip right here. So let's go ahead and play it. As you can see, there you go. That's a really cool zoom out effect um, in Final Cut Pro 10. Just using a freeze frame, a mask, and the Ken's burn, the Ken Burns effect um, right there. And of course, you could add some motion blur just to help sell the effect um, and make it look a lot nicer and a lot more realistic. So let's go ahead and play it right here. This is what the effect looks like right here. You have this really cool zoom out effect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And not only is it zooming out, as you can see right here, the opacity is being keyframed. So that way the end, now you've gone right into the second clip. Again, you don't have to keyframe the opacity. 
but I think that looks a lot more realistic. It's much, a much, uh, much harsher cut if you don't keyframe the opacity. So you see motion blur right here, freeze frame um, right here. Just use a draw mask to cut on his helmet. And then as you can see right here, here is the crop right here. Go to crop, Ken Burns effect, and then you want to start it here and end it on the outside. And just you just do that by clicking the arrow right here to reverse it. Um, I didn't know you could do that, but that's much easier than just trying to line up the Ken's burn effect. You could just um, flip it around. Really cool effect that I didn't even know existed. And hopefully, hopefully, well, if you didn't know it existed, now you definitely know um, it exists. Definitely a really cool effect. Very unique effect. Uh, the zoom in and the zoom out effect are just used for different clips. You're just gonna have to, you know, watch your video and figure out uh, uh, which clips you're gonna use. Can I can I use the zoom out effect on any of my clips? That you know is up to you, and that depends on your clips. But this is just one example. I just wanted to go over how to create it, like the idea of how to create it, and then you can of course, of course, take your own, use your own creativity on it and make it look even cooler. You could have it repeating, so you could have multiple of these, like I did the repeating frame effect or I, like the infinite zoom effect. I can't remember what I called it. But you could have it kind of stack onto each other. That's uh, you know all up to you. But there you go. That's how you create this really cool effect. Freeze frame, draw a mask, and then here's the Ken's burn effect, keyframe the opacity, and voila. You have a really cool zoom out effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoyed these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 200 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.